invertebrates. Invertebrates. These are animals without backbones. There are different classifications of invertebrates. Sponges, nidarians, worms, mollusks, echinoderms, and arthropods. Sponges, also called as poriferans, they are pore bearing animals. They are aquatic animals that attached in a rock or any solid materials. They are filter feeders. Food comes into their bodies and flows out as well. Examples Nidarians also known as salentarates. They are stinging animals. They have nematosis, stinging cells known as poisonous, and have tentacles that are used to capture their prey. They are classified into three groups, hydras, jellyfishes, and corals and sea animals. Examples Worms. They have no legs and they live in any environment. They are classified according to their body structures. Flatworms, roundworms, and segmented worms. Flatworms are platy helmets. They are flat and ribbon-like bodies. They are mostly parasitic. They are parasites that depend on its host for food and a place to live. Roundworms or nematodes. They have long and smooth and rounded bodies. They live in water, in the soil, or in other plants and animals as parasites. Billions of roundworms can live in a single unit of soil. Some roundworms are also decomposers, some are predators, and some are parasitic. Segmented worms or annelids. They have long and segmented bodies. Their bodies allow them to burrow in the soil or swim in the water easily. They can be found in land, in fresh water, and even in salt water. Their skin needs to be moist all the time because they breathe through it. Mollusk. The word mollus came from the Latin word mollis, which means soft. These are animals that have soft and shapeless body. Most mollusks are covered with shells, like clam, snail, and green mussels or tahong. The thick layer of tissue that covers their body secretes calcium carbonate which is responsible for the formation of the shell. There are different classifications of mollusks, gastropods, bivalves, and cephalopods. Gastropods, one shell like snails. Bivalves, two shells like clumps and mussels. And cephalopods, Foot divided into tentacles with strong suckers. No shells 
like squid and octopus. Echinoderms. They have spines of different lengths that cover their bodies. They have radial symmetry and do not have heads, brains, or advanced nervous system. They are aquatic animals that have a water vascular system. Examples. Arthropods. The name arthropods comes from the Greek words arthros means jointed and poda means foot. They have hard outer body covering, jointed legs, compound eyes, segmented body, and specialized body parts. Their exoskeletons that protect and support their bodies also protect them from drying out. Molting is the shedding of exoskeleton. They are found in freshwater, marine, and terrestrial habitat. These are the largest groups of any organisms. There are different classifications of arthropods, crustaceans, arachnids, insects, and myriapods. Crustaceans. Most crustaceans live in water. Their exoskeletons are very hard and they have gills for breeding. Their bodies are divided into three regions, the head, the thorax, and abdomen. They have five pairs of legs. Examples. Arachnids, they live on land. They breathe through their trachea or book lungs. Their bodies are divided into two regions, cephalothorax and abdomen. They have four pairs of legs. Examples. Insects, the largest group of arthropods. They are composed of three regions, head, thorax, and abdomen. They have one to two pairs of wings. They have antenna for chemical perception. Examples. Myriapods, they are segmented arthropods. They are millipedes and centipedes. Millipedes, each segment of millipede has two pairs of legs. They are detritivores. It means they feed on dead plant and animal matter. Centipedes. Each segment of centipede has a pair of legs. They are carnivorous and have poisonous fangs in their mouth. That is why their sting is painful. Both millipedes and centipedes live hidden in the soil, underneath rocks, and dead logs. Did you know that? Starfish is also called as sea star, and it is an example of echinoderms. It has no brain nor blood, and one of its characteristics is that they have the ability to regenerate their lost part, but it takes a while and it can even take up for a year for their lost part to grow back.